welcome back to another craft with Miss Jackie. Today we are making a pony bead penguin keychain. That's a lot to say. So we're making a Valentine themed one since this is February and the Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So this one we made pink and you just need a lot of pony beads of different colors and then we also need some string. You need about two yards, I have a little bit over two yards here. You need some scissors, and then you need, for this one I'm using purple, pink, and white pony beads. So for the, right here is the light pink, I'm gonna use that for purple. You need 31 beads. For the inside, you need 18 beads, and then for the little beak and his little feet, you need three beads. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my string in half, and then I'm going to use a clipboard to tie it to kind of help me keep everything together. And then I'm gonna tie a couple knots at the top. So the whole thing doesn't fall apart. And when I'm done, I'll just cut this little part so it's not stuck on the clipboard forever. All right, so now we have a good knot. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take three purple pony beads. So here's three. And I'm gonna string them along one side. This is a lot of string, so you may have to Throw it to one side so they don't get so it doesn't get mixed up. Alright, so there's three. I'm gonna all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna take the other one and I'm going to snip that off so it's a little straighter. I'm going to put it through the beads again. So put it through the three beads. And then I'm gonna pull them tight. And I want it to end up like that, kind of in a straight line. All right, so that's the top of your penguin's head. So now we're gonna move below. For, so for this row, we need four beads, and we need two purple, and we need two pink. So again, I'm just gonna take it, and first I'm going to do one purple, and this is kind of the inside color as well as the outside color. And then two pink. And one purple. Again, I'm gonna string, put it all the way to the top. And I'm gonna take my other string, the other side, and put it through the four beads. And then I'm gonna tighten. And this is basically what we'll be doing the whole time. We'll just be doing different numbers and different patterns. So here's the top of his head. Next, we're gonna do five beads and we're gonna use all three colors we have. So we use purple, pink, and white. So the pattern goes one purple and then one pink and then one white and then another pink, and then one purple. So there should be five beads all together, two pink, two purple, and one white. And we're going to slide it all the way up to the top, take the other side, and thread it through the beads again. And then pull it tight. The next one we'll be using six beads and we'll be using four purple and two pink. So I'm going to thread on two purple, two pink, one, two, 
and then two purple. Alright, thread to the top. I'll take the other side and thread it through the beads again. We're about halfway done with our penguin. head is forming. All right, so next we're going to use seven beads and we're going to repeat this row four times. So we need two purple, three pink, and then two more purple. This is going to create like the belly area of the penguin. So again, we have the pattern is two purple, three pink in the middle, and then two purple on the side again. All right, and then I'm going to string it through. All right, and then pull it tight again. And then I'm going to repeat this step three more times. Alright, two purple, three pink, and two purple. to repeat this row two more times now. Make sure it might come a little loose as you're going, so just tighten it as you go. All right, we're almost done with his stomach. All right, so now we're finished with the stomach area, and now we just have to do his little feet. So for this one, we should only have a few more beads left, so we need Four purple and two white beads. So the pattern is two purple, two white, and then two more purple. Take the top again, and then thread it through. Again, gotta fix that one that got a little loose. Alright, so that is your finished penguin. Now we just have to tie it off. And if it looks like they got a little loose, you can kind of adjust some of them, pull them tighter if they need to be on the sides. Alright, so that's pretty good. So, how I tied off the knot, I tied a knot on each side. So I took my string, and if your string's gotten a little frayed as you're threading through the beads, just kind of snip off the bottom and see if it helps. So what I did is I took it through this little hole right there, pulled it through, 
strap and then I put it through the loop and I tied it tight and then I did that a few more times to get a good knot. There we go. Alright, so there's one knot and now we'll do the other side. Again, just put it through that little And then I'm just going to snip off the edges, the ends. Have sharper scissors than I do. And then if you want it the, to make the knots a little stronger, I'd put a little bit of glue on it. And then I'm just going to snip off the top. And there you have it. That's your finished penguin. The penguin is a really nice pattern to do if you haven't done one of these um, keychains since you were a little girl like I have. It's been many years since I've tried one of these, but there's some really fun, unique patterns to try if you get a little, if you find that this one's really easy, you can try a, um, a lizard. There's also, I saw an Anna and Elsa one that looked really hard that I definitely couldn't do right now, but this is a fun one to start with. Well, I hope you had a good time making your very own Valentine's Day penguin. And let us know if you're going to try. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.